Hi, I'm Dr. David Targan, and welcome to BioDigest. Fossil fuels, petroleum, gasoline, these resources get us to work every day and fuel our way of life. But there are downsides. Burning petroleum emits CO2 into our atmosphere, and there is only so much petroleum to go around. There are, however, alternatives to fossil fuels on the horizon. Varenium, a second-generation biofuels company based in Cambridge, Massachusetts, is revolutionizing the world of transportation fuel with its work in cellulosic ethanol, a liquid fuel made from the non-edible parts of plants. The first flex fuel vehicle that was developed was the Model T. It could burn 100% ethanol, it could burn 100% gasoline, or any mix in between. Over time, gasoline beat out other fuels to be the dominant transportation fuel. The reality is gasoline itself holds a monopoly in the uh, fuels marketplace in this country. We've built an entire economy, an entire way of life predicated on access to cheap energy. And when you pull that thread out, the entire fabric can unravel. Biofuels, very basically, are liquid fuels that are derived from biomass. Biomass is a general term we use for those parts of the plant that are not food or fruit related, et cetera. Think bamboo, think, you know, think wood, think tough structural type of, of carbohydrates. Any plant will capture the sun's energy and it stores that energy in the form of sugar molecules all linked together in a rigid structure. All we want to do is take that material, break it down into its component sugars, and ferment that into alcohol. So for instance, in, a, in an acre of uh, sugar cane, uh, you can grow up to 20 tons of biomass, and because you're converting the entire plant and not simply the food portion, we believe it will be possible to make four or five times as much ethanol from an acre of land. And this is not necessarily directly competing with prime farmland for food. These are grasses and other crops that were there long before man came along, and they can grow on marginal land, they can grow on land that's not used for cultivation. Whereas the petroleum industry relies on economies of scale, cellulosic ethanol can be produced in small regional plants. I think every region is going to have its own kind of uh, biomass source that's suited for that region. You go in the upper Midwest, um, you know, switchgrass is, is very viable up there. If you look up in Canada, aspen and poplar trees grow very readily in that climate, and if we look at yield of biomass per acre. In every region, there's viable crops. Converting sugars and biomass into alcohol is not a new process. There are naturally occurring bacteria that transform carbohydrates into alcohol. Berenium, using biotechnology, has modified and engineered these natural organisms for a specific purpose, creating transportation fuel. There's two things we're doing with organisms. One is we're breaking down the material into simple sugars. And the other, next thing we're doing is fermenting those sugars into ethanol. And what the biotech tools do, it, it allows us to specifically design an organism that does exactly what we're looking for it to do. So it converts exactly those sugars to alcohol and only alcohol at high yields and low input costs. And cost per gallon is our guiding metric. It's all about making cheap transportation fuel. Berenium has successfully made cellulosic ethanol in a laboratory setting, but translating that scientific process into a full-scale commercial operation can be a trickier proposition. Sometimes when you're building something, you scale it up, it doesn't quite work the way it did in the lab in a very controlled circumstance. We want it to work in the real world, not just, just in the lab. In the last few years, Berenium has taken technologies that have been developed in the lab we scaled them up and then validated the performance of our processes in a small pilot plant that we built in Jennings, Louisiana. The pilot scale, you're making uh, maybe an equivalent of 50,000 gallons a year if you ran it all the time, but you're really designing and running the pilot plant to give you the maximum amount of data to go to the next step. Verenium's demonstration plant will pave the way for commercial production of cellulosic ethanol. Advanced biofuels are going to be a reality in our economy within the next five years. I expect when we get these plants up and running, this technology will quickly go around the world. The commercial success of this uh, industry will translate into billions of dollars of economic growth for this country in the years ahead. But more importantly, uh, if we're able to make this industry succeed, we're going to change the world. 
Berenium is one of the many biotechnology companies revolutionizing advanced biofuels. Innovations in this field continue to transform the way we fuel our world. For BioDigest, I'm Dr. David Targan.